When you work in Excel, it's easy to make changes to the data. When you, for example, have a table like this one over here and you want to change a value or add a value, you just double click on the cell value, enter the value, and that's it. However, that doesn't work in Power BI because Power BI only reads from the data sources. You cannot write back to the data source. However, there are, of course, workarounds. And one of them is to use Power Apps to write back to the data source. And that is what I'm going to show you in this video. Now let's have a look at the table visual that I built over here. And what I want to be able to do is to change the status and the reason. And at the moment, well, I cannot do that. However, with a little workaround using Power Apps, you can. And now you have to add the fields that you're going to use for this app. Now here in Power Apps, I go to Insert, and then we can go here to Forms and click on Edit. So now we have to add a data source to the form. And so the data source we want to write back to. So we have to click there on Connect to Data, Add Data, and then here we can go to Connect This. And then you can select, for example, your Excel file, choose the table that you want to use as the source and if you want to use it then for this form you still have to go here on the right hand side data source and choose it from there click here on edit fields add field and now you can click on all of the fields that you want to use and let's change the text of this label also here under properties on the right hand side we can change the color the next thing that we want to do is to make sure that the form shows the information for the selected item the selected item in the other table visual in Power BI. Now, how can we do that? Well, this doesn't happen automatically. We have to set it up. And the way to do it is by going here, first of all, to the tree view and then select the form. Then here we have a drop down from which we can make our selection of what we want to change. Now, here we want to go to item and we can do that with a formula. So if I select the second one, now you see, oh, it shows me the information of the second client. Let's go back again and you can simply add a button here on the insert then add a button. So what do we want to do? We want to submit the form. So let's click on here, the function submit form. And, and I can refer back to form one. Now, just make sure that you select the form. Then you go to the drop down, and we can say what needs to happen on success. So here we are back in Power BI. I refreshed the visual. So here we have the button. And now I'm going to select, let's say, the second client. You see it nicely updates. Then we fill in the cancellation reason. I see a nice message pops up, success. Now let's see what happens when I now click on refresh data. Boom, there you go. We have task two over there in the cancellation reason column. It works. However, you probably don't want to click on refresh. You want to see it straight away. Now, what are your options when you do use Excel on a OneDrive? as your source or a SharePoint list, something that cannot use direct query. Well, then we can trigger the refresh.